Hey everyone, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms, and today I wanted to show off this curbside treasure. That's right, I found this thing laying on the side of the road. Of course, it didn't look quite this pretty, but it cleaned up fairly well. You cannot imagine how dirty it was. If any of you guys uh, own chickens, and you know the dust they put off, I imagine about 10 years worth of that. Um, just incredible how nasty this thing was, but... I drove past it on a test drive in a customer car. I saw this thing laying there on the side of the road. And it was getting ready to rain slash snow. And I thought, man, is that is that an old TV set or what is that? I turned around, went and looked at it. And uh, there's two keyboards, a mouse, and the, and the main unit. And it's a, an IBM, no, I'm sorry, it's an iMac. Um, so I was like, you know, I don't know anything about them. I've never owned a Macintosh. So went ahead got my car, went back and picked it up after work right before the rain started pouring. Brought it home, cleaned it up. Lo and behold, it actually works and it's been upgraded. So uh, let me put the, uh, hold on, I'll show you the side of it here. Not that there's a lot to see. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these iMacs, but they were really kind of cool in their day. They were very stylish. This is before flat screens came along. Um, have a USB port, which is nice. Have an EarthNet port, which is also nice. I've got this one hooked to an Earthnet to wireless router converter so it is wirelessly connected to the internet and it does connect to the internet which is nice has a CD-ROM drive and has a I think it's a 10 gig hard drive um, I think it has a firewire port too I'm not sure I like I said I really don't know much about these other than they were extremely expensive in the day and uh, they were made in like 2000 2001 something like that but uh, yeah super cool the keyboard Cleaned up well, all the keys work. It's like a translucent looking keyboard. It has USB ports on the side, which are kind of neat. And then uh, there's the mouse, and there's the cat that should be after your mouse. There you go. Yeah, it had the original like see through mouse. So that's kind of neat. Oh, yeah. Let me put the uh, camera on a tripod and I'll fire it up and show you that it, it works. All right, so I've got the uh, camera mounted about as close as I can get it to the screen. Hopefully, you'll be able to see what's going on here, but we'll go ahead and fire this thing up. The flickering you see is only on the uh, recording part of it. The screen itself is pretty clear. Okay, so here it is loaded up. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it through the microphone very well, but the bearings for the hard drive are kind of noisy. Other than that, though, the system does work. Mouse works, all the keys on the keyboard work. Got some programs that came with it. Pac-Man, there's another game or two somewhere hidden in this system. There's a calculator. There's a taxi game. I'm not sure what that's all about. And then I added this. This is 104 Fox, which is some modern, <laughs> I use that in quotes, modern web browser that's made for that G3 processor. It does work, but it's, it's pretty darn slow. I'll show you that here in a little bit. And down at the bottom, here's some more programs. There's a Solitaire. There's Apple Works. Bunch of stuff. Quicken came pre-installed. There's a QuickTime player, calculator, Safari, which I think is the original web browser down here. There's a mail program. And uh, so, again, I'm not too familiar with uh, Macintosh systems, but uh, let's go ahead. I'll show you that iTunes does, in fact, work. We have podcasts. I'm not sure the store was working when I first... Air in the store, try again later. I was able to download some stuff the other day on it. Uh, let's just try it for a second here. So there you go. I won't play too much of it because I'm sure, like everything else, that's copyrighted, but iTunes does work. Um, the store was working the other day. It may be that it's uh, not working today, but I, it was working as of about a week ago. So let me close out of this and uh, let's open up Internet Explorer <laughs> for the Macintosh, which is 104 Fox G3. I think this is based on Firefox. It looks very similar to Firefox. And it works. There's the Google homepage. You can do searches for it. Uh, let's look for YouTube. Yep, 
there I am. Now, it will not play videos on YouTube. Uh, it, well, I take that back. It will play videos on YouTube, but it plays them at about one second at a time, and then it buffers for about uh, 10 seconds in between. So, really not usable. Uh, but the uh, pictures show up okay. Let's, let's try images and see if it's uh, got any of the stills from there. Scrolling's a little sluggish, but it, it does work. Now this again has a 400 megahertz processor. It's a one gigabyte system. I think I said two gigabyte before, but it's one gigabyte, which is the maximum amount of memory you can put in this thing. And it is an EarthNet to wireless adapter, a Vonitz adapter that I'm using here. I don't know if that's slowing down internet at all, but I doubt that's the bottleneck we have here. But uh, yeah, you can even scroll through the images fairly quickly. There's my ugly mug many versions of it. Cool. <laughs> so uh, that's that. I've got some bookmarks here. Let's see if they come up. Hmm. Yeah, we've got uh, Art Bell. So it'll also stream uh, music and audio from other sites as well as iTunes, which when I first found this thing on the side of the road, I figured it was, you know, junk, but I did go ahead and set it up. And when I first got it working, I thought, hey, you know what, I'll just make this like a dedicated music player on this side of the house. The problem is you can't shut the monitor off independently of the rest of the computer. It just draws too much energy to make it uh, something that I want to do that with. So I'm going to end up reselling this or donating it. If anyone out there is interested in it, uh, please let me know. Pretty much, you know, maybe $10 plus the cost of shipping, and you can own this thing. Um, certainly, it's probably a piece of computing history at this point, but it is still functional. Someone could bother you. Because I think he would tend to argue that point. I read the book, and it's definitely something you don't... So it works. You know, that works as well. Uh, let's try Pac-Man, and then we'll wrap this video up. But... Uh, uh, it's amazing that, you know, for a computer made in 2000, maybe, ooh, video games. Who doesn't like video games, right? Of course, there's no joysticks, so I'm not sure how you play this. Well, look at that. Straight out of my youth. Cool. So that's Pac-Man. That came with the computer. There's a couple other games on here. We'll, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to open up AppleWorks. Probably take 10 minutes for it to fully load. Or Quicken might have some personal files on there that people might not want to have broadcast over the internet. So I will wrap it up at that. That's it. My little uh, yard, well, I should say trash curbside find. It's amazing what people throw out these days, right? Covered in dust, sitting in a barn for at least the last 10 years from the looks of it, but fully functional. 2000, maybe 2001, iMac, G3, 400 megahertz, upgraded to uh, OS X 10.4, and one gigabyte of memory. Hard drive, I think, is either an 8 or a 10 gigabyte SCSI drive. So, uh, no, not SCSI. No, it's IDE. That's it. I'm Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Take care.